now that you know how to log in and you have changed your admin password and you saw how the uh, different panes work like I said earlier you can you know switch between the panes and you can hide the menu and everything that you want to do so now we have to set up the practice so essentially there are three items that you need to set up the facility the users and the practice <clears throat> so let's get started if you have the admin rights which of course you do you are an admin you go to the administration tab and you go and you select the facilities usually it will show you something like your clinic name here so if it's already there you can just click on that and change your clinic name where it showed your clinic name here so you enter your phone number your particular practice might be under your individual name or it might have a, a EIN number so you can select which one it will be so is, is it a social security number or a tax ID number EIN number so and you can enter whatever it is that is given to you then the facility NPI if it is your individual name your NPI whatever it is now this is where you have to pay a little bit of attention so a billing location is the is the item that will appear on your HICFA form as the billing address so if your practice is billing from a certain address that has been given then that is what it will be showing at the billing location so if this is a billing and a service location you can select that both or if it is just a billing location and you are seeing patients other uh, in other places then you have to do that as well and accept assignment only if it is a building location now this color you have to pick a color so that it will show up in the uh, calendar and which we will see at a later stage so you have to pick one of these current uh, this colors so that it shows up properly on the calendar a place of service code usually is 11 but you can put whatever is appropriate if it is a nursing home accordingly all those kind of things this is of course building attention these things will show up the clear number but now you have entered a building facility so let's just make this a building facility and not a service location now I'm going to add another one which is only a service location. It is not necessary to put all this information for a service location but it helps. So now we have set up your facilities. Now we have to go and set up a user. Now, if it is a provider, you have to select him as a provider 
and providers automatically get a calendar. Some may not, but usually it's a default. What is his default facility? Only the places of service or a service location will show up because you see patients in a service location. And his tax ID number, his federal drug ID number for his prescriptions and stuff, all those NPIs, UPINs, Now for e-prescription, you have to select a role for the doctor, so he should usually be a doctor. And this is where you can give him access control to what he sees in the EMR. And you can go on and create other staff, office staff, like front office staff, clinicians, emergency log, and each one of them have different access levels. So the front office staff will not have access to certain features, which I'll show you right now. So these access rights are controlled in the ACL, which access control list and here you can see for example what does the front office have access to they can have access to only appointments demographics patient notes transactions so you can add new groups and give them different access level you can take away access and you can give different access to different people All those sort of things you can do under the access control list. But generally, if you don't know too much about computers, don't mess with it. Just go with the roles that is given to you. The third thing that we will set up today is the practice. Now, under the practice settings, you can set up all the pharmacies. Now, you can import a list of pharmacies from an uh, Excel file or you can manually enter the pharmacies that your patients usually use. If you are subscribed to the ERX system, then the ERX system or the e-prescription system will automatically uh, have a list of pharmacies. In a simple way where you are not connected to any of the e-prescription modules or any other databases, you can just go here and enter a pharmacy. For example, how do you send prescription to the pharmacy? You can set it as a default here. And you can set as many pharmacies as you want. Now the next one becomes very important. Uh, now in my system I have already preloaded it, but these are the insurance company information that will be used to send your claims and enter the data in the demographics for the patient. So you have to be more diligent while you make this information. The same way, the address, the information. The CMS ID is something that is important to your electronic clearinghouse. Now, each clearinghouse will give you a specific number that correlates to a particular insurance so that the clearinghouse can identify which insurance goes to where. Now, this is a list of items that you can look at. So if it's a Medicare, the insurance, you can select that and you can select a list of stuff from here. And each selection has a different role when it comes to generating the X files.
X12 files. Now insurance numbers. So certain doctors might have certain specific insurance numbers for certain specific insurances. So when you select that and you select for example for Martin Nation let's say if the insurance company BCBCS Blue Cross Blue Sheet Fed has a particular provider number he can enter that over here and then he can select what type of number that is I'm not going into much of the details because that in itself will take a lot more time so this is just explaining the concept to you X12 partners are the clearing houses that you use you can use several clearing houses and you enter their information over here again not going into details but just letting you know how you can do that so you have set up your practice as well so you have the insurance companies which is the basic thing that you need the X12 partners and the insurance numbers so now your practice is ready to start inputting the demographics and the patient information and to see patients. The rest will follow in the next video. Thank you very much.